Hi there, my name is Lari and today I will show you how to have our self-hosted uh, WordPress. So what you need is your domain name of course and um, uh, web hosting. So for the two you can use GoDaddy or uh, HostGator or any other um, domain provider because normally uh, you will have those options so if you want to have it uh, hosted at the same time on your provider you can do so okay so uh, <clears throat> basically you will have your cpanel okay so right now i have my cpanel um and then uh, in the cpanel you can have um fantastico or uh, for me, I use um, Softakilus, okay? So if you want um, a self-hosted WordPress, you just go on that, okay? Just wait a little bit. And it's the same in Fantastico, you just go in Fantastico and then um, you will have the languages, so you can uh, use any um, languages. So if you want other um, um, website, for example, you want to have a social networking website like Facebook or other uh, social networks, you can do so. Okay, um, there are the scripts there. Okay, um, so if you want um, a gallery, uh, you want to have um, a website of only photos like uh, Flickr, you can have it as well. So. Um, what I want is WordPress, so I choose WordPress. Okay, and then I I will choose, I will install it. Okay, so um, I want to install it in my domain name, lorimi.info. Okay, and I'll just uh, leave uh, the directory blank. So uh, it will have uh, http uh, colon slash slash uh, lorimi.info at the end. Okay, so I just leave it blank. And for the site name, you can choose any site name you want. So for me, it's Me, for example. And then site description. So um, let's say it's my personal blog. Okay, but uh, you can uh, you can uh, um, change that uh, later. So for the admin account, okay, you just choose um, your username and your password. So uh, choose something that uh, you will remember at the end. Uh, especially if you have so many websites and uh, you'll just mix everything up like me. So I, I always mix up my uh, passwords. So um, let's see, I'll just uh, use a username and then, um, okay. So for now, I'll just use um, um, admin and pass, okay? Anyway, I will change it um, afterwards. So let's say you, you just... Uh, Put it like that, and then um, um, put the email address you want the installation to be. Uh, to, to, you want uh, um, the info on the installation, so they will send it um, to your uh, um, email address. So, okay, okay. So that's it, and just click install. Okay, so now you you will have this. So it says that uh, you already installed uh, WordPress. So you will have this info slash wp dash admin slash slash. Okay, so when you when you log into uh, to your WordPress, you just um, type that one. Okay, and then uh, you don't have the you don't have it yet. Okay, so, so okay. Oh, why you don't have it yet? Because you haven't changed the name server. Okay, so normally uh, when you have the, your web hosting, you have a name server wherein you can point your domain name to. So for me, I'm using Weblink and I know what is my name server and I know where to. Uh, point my domain name okay so 
let's go to your um, for me it's GoDaddy so I go to do GoDaddy choose the domain name and then I set the name server okay just wait a little bit okay so this is the um, default uh, name server for GoDaddy so um, if you have your own hosting okay you just choose I have a hosting account oh, no, I know I choose a specific name server because you want to use the name server of your web hosting so for me it's weblink one so I'll just uh, delete this one okay and then I put web weblink1.net okay okay and name server 2 it's the same I'll just change um, ns1 to ns2 okay okay hold on a second okay you can copy this and then just paste it and don't forget to to change the number okay so so I have name server one two three and four okay so that's the um, that's the name server of my uh, hosting okay just click OK and then just wait uh, a little bit um, because it may take a few minutes to propagate okay okay so now um, we've configured how to uh, install the WordPress so let's see if it's already working now okay now there it is you have all your self-hosted WordPress so have a great day and I hope this uh, video helps you okay bye bye